What's up, everybody? Badass Games, welcome back to Tomb Raider 1. Yeah, that's right, Tomb Raider 1. We have some unfinished business to take care of. Uh, this is the expansion for Tomb Raider 1. It was released for the PC and never for the PlayStation. So uh, this is clearly going to be the, the PC version. And um, we're going to be trying to do this without uh, using a health pack and um, uh, getting all the kills. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started on this. Instantly, we fall down into this uh, room here, and the door is going to give way down below, and you'll see that you can fall down in there. Take a look at that Sphinx, man. He's giving you a wink. He's letting you know that there's some cool stuff up ahead. Okay, but before we go down there and say hi to him, let's run and jump over to this ledge right here. Do not grab in the air, otherwise you will not grab the ledge and you'll fall all the way down. Uh, vault up here, and then hop up here. Head to the right. There's going to be a large med pack on the ground that you can pick up. Okay, now let's leave here. This time we do want to fall down that hole. Be mindful, though, there are uh, some alligators down in the water. Um, there's just one right now, but if we head over here to the north side of... This is uh, to the north. If you check the compass, um, there's going to be a ledge you can stand on and take care of this guy. So waste him and then come back into the water toward the, the north direction, and you'll find this opening. If you swim in front of it, you'll spawn another alligator. You saw the one was already spawned, but... You want to get that second one ready to go, too. Bring them out here and then just pound a few rounds into them. Until they die. And as you can see, there's some ammunition here. And there's also a small med pack at the very end of this ledge up here. And now we want to fall into the water because that little opening is going to give us access to some shotgun shells. Now, this is not a secret. This is just here for... Uh, you know, just to be there, so... And just to give us some stuff. Now that we have this stuff, let's go head over here. Uh, we're gonna go to the right of the Sphinx. Okay, there's going to be some ammunition down in the water underneath the pillar where we, um... Had, uh... I mean, this area should look familiar to you. It's the, uh... The, uh, City of Kamun Um, area from the original Tomb Raider game, so... Um, there's some ammunition down under by that obelisk where you put all the items. Once you have all of them, turn around, pull yourself up over here, turn around, and do a running jump over to this pillar right here to open a door that's going to give us access to the, to the first secret of this level. Now, uh, the door is timed, and the timer doesn't start until you leave this, this tile that I'm standing on now, so... Um, Go ahead and leave that whenever you want. Diving is probably the most efficient way to get here fast. Uh, but the timer is actually fairly long, so you shouldn't need to worry about it too much. Okay, so let's go into this area. And in here, this is uh, the secret. But there's also the alligator swimming around in here. So be careful. Looks like uh, I'm not being too careful. Um, you could lure him out and then kill him and then come back in here, get the items if you want. The door... Uh, the timer on the door is uh, no longer in service after you go through the door, so um, you do have that option. Now let's uh, pick up all that stuff. There was uh, two boxes of shotgun shells and a small med pack in that secret. Let's kite this uh, alligator out here so we can get the kill on him. By the way, there's going to be a lot of pickups and there's going to be a lot of enemies that you will encounter in this expansion. Um, it's a pretty nice expansion, so I highly recommend it, actually. Oh, where's he going? He went back home, huh? We can bring him out over here and take care of him. No big deal. I mean, there was... I kind of wanted to be over there because, uh... There's an item behind the Sphinx's head that I wanted to grab, but... Um, killing that alligator is kind of a, a thing I need to do if I'm going to get all the kills, so... Alright, let's pull up right here. And then let's go behind this Sphinx's head, similar to the way we did in the city of Kamun. And we'll find some shotgun shells here. Alright, now let's uh, dive into the water over here on this side. And we'll find the um, opening here in the, in the water. And uh, swim down this way. We're going to enter another familiar area. And uh, this corridor right here that I'm in should actually be familiar to you as well. It was gated off in the uh, original Tomb Raider level, but now it's open and it lets us into this section. Over here, where we see the boulder that is still in place, there are some shotgun shells. Uh, pick those up and then get out of the water real fast because there's an alligator that wants to uh, chomp at you. 
take a bite off your leg, but we're not going to let him, right? We're going to stand over here and just waste him from over here. Awesome. So do all of that and then hop over to this section right over here where we had the cat statue. This is the where one of the secrets were, but uh, was in the first, in the original Tomb Raider level, but it's not there anymore. Um, but we want to be here because there's a couple of uh, panthers around here that we want to take care of. Our pistols are going to be uh, used rather frequently because that's all we have right now. Um, but as soon as I get the shotgun, I'll definitely be making good use of that. For sure. Alright, so, um, we are killing a couple panthers. It doesn't really, they really don't need to die because, um, we're never going to be going on those platforms. But, you know, let's get the kills. Alright, cool. Now, one more. There's over, it was over here on the, this, uh, sill here. We can take him out. And once they're all done, all three of them are done, let's jump into the water here around this cat statue and find a lever in the water. Now, this is going to open the door for the way out. Let me, uh, I'm actually having a hard time getting lined up on this thing. Uh, it's open the door for the way out of this area, but there's still a couple things that we're going to need to get before we go through that door. Um, but I'll show you where that's at. And then I will go get the shotgun, because if you don't care about the shotgun, then the door is right over there, by the way, that I just opened. That's the proper way to go. Like I said, I'm not going to go that way just yet. Jump in the water, head over here to the left, and we're going to climb out here. Now, there's going to be two panthers. One of them you could have taken care of through the fence in the other area, but uh, I say screw it. Let's just uh, go in here and uh, do wild and crazy things. Run around with a few panthers. You know, why not? Come on, one more. I find that, you know, running around with these guys is uh, the best way to deal with them, as long as you stay behind them. I mean, jumping around is not a good idea, like, it seems, um, if you could jump and roll, then that'd be beneficial, but you just can't do that in the original Tomb Raider. Alright, once you're done with those guys, there's some items here, we got a small med packets of shotgun shells, and then, um, if we continue on through this room, I came over here from the right, let's go here to this opening, and we'll find some shotgun shells and the shotgun. Now, we don't need to go back through that little hut to get back. This is the, um, similar to the, uh, obelisk and, um, or the city of Kamun. This is, we can definitely get back to this area going this way. Jump in the water, and we will swim over to that door that I opened a little bit ago. And then run down this hallway. Now, there's nothing in these rooms. So you can bypass them, but there is going to be a panther that will spawn as soon as you get to this tile. It's going to spawn behind you. So be careful because he will, if you don't know about him and you walk to the edge to take a look in the next room, you'll see a bunch of spikes. Well, he's going to push you down into the spikes if you don't uh, see him coming, which is what happened to me on my live stream. Which is pretty funny. So anyway, now that he's taken care of, let's take a look around here and we see the spikes. Uh, the best way that I know of getting down is to, head is to jump over there. And then um, jump over these spikes right there, and you'll land safely right here. And uh, you just got to make your way over to this section as soon as you get down here. Um, now you might be able to come down on the right side and jump these spikes that I just went through as well. Okay, but when you come into this corridor, you, you're going to want to head to the right. This is going to give us uh, access to the second secret of the level. So let's go up here. We got to do some jumps. Be careful because there are spikes down below. All right. Like, every hop that I'm making, I'm avoiding spikes, so... Another spike pit right there. Head up to the right, the door opens automatically for us, which is sweet. And then we're gonna go into a room that is the secret and also contains, uh, some items, like a bunch of them. There's some shotgun shells, um... I believe there's some small med pack and I think some magnum ammo as well. So a bunch of stuff here. And by the way, by uh, the end of this video, we're going to have all of the stuff that we need. I guess it's a large med pack. We're going to have not all the stuff that we need. I mean, we're going to have all of our weapons. So that's going to be awesome. We'll have a full arsenal before the end of the first video. It's 
pretty slick. Okay, now that you have all the stuff from the secret as you approach this door, it's going to open. You can hop out easily by jumping over here to the left, and then um, you can do the same thing you did to get uh, down. Just jump over these spikes, or you could probably do it on the other side too. It really doesn't matter. Just determine your favorite way of getting down here and go with it. Okay, walk through those spikes, and this time head to the left. We are going to go into an area where we'll find a couple more panthers. Now you can go straight, or you can turn right. Um, we'll get a nice little aerial view of this whole thing. Um, as we approach over here, though, that cat statue turns into an actual panther. So um, that's pretty cool. Uh, but the thing is, is um, all the else for is a kill, and there's nothing else over here. So uh, if you want the kill, then um, that's all you need to do in order to spawn him to get the kill. Now he's being uh, evasive, but uh, that's fine. We'll eventually roll up on him later if uh, I can't get the kill right now. Come back here. Okay, well, whatever. I've done some serious damage to him, so I'll just uh, let him be for now. Okay, so that all I did was uh, go over there for to spawn that kill. Let's go over here. We'll see these blocks right here. They are movable, and that would be the proper way to go if you want to uh, to do that. But I'm going to actually go get some stuff. So, uh, yeah, I mean, all items and um, all kills kind of a, a thing that I need to do. I need to head over in this direction. Now, there's going to be a panther that spawns. That's why I have my shotgun out. Now, three shots from this thing should do him in. Now, I didn't really take a whole lot of damage. What happened was he pushed me into the slope, and uh, I slid down into some spikes. That's all the damage that I took that entire time, so... Make sure that you stand still in the uh, spikes during that fight. You might be able to hold walk, but... If you hold walk, then turning is an issue. Uh, I just stand still and turn. So... Uh, I picked up some shotgun shells back there on the ledge, and here are some more shotgun shells, so that's cool. Uh, beware of a boulder trap here. You want to run straight into this little cubby, and uh, the, you'll miss the boulder, or rather the boulder will miss you. Um, let's pull up into this decorated section. Let's climb these steps. We're finally going to go up to that section, maybe even take care of that panther that I wasn't able to kill a little bit ago. What I want to do is I want to... I just want to fall off because there's some shotgun shells down here. That's all I really wanted to do. Uh, let's get the pistols out. I know that panther is down below me. There he is. Yeah, he was pretty wounded, that's for sure. Okay, now that I got those shotgun shells, I do want to turn around here, though. I just want to tap the roll button, do a run and jump, and grab this ledge, pull myself up. I'm heading for the uh, third secret of this level, so... Vault up here so we can get a little bit of height. What we want to do is we kind of do an angle jump over to this platform right here. You should be able to land that. I haven't missed it yet. Uh, if you can't seem to hit that, then um, you can shimmy over to this ledge right here if you want. But this is the third secret right ahead of me. Do a running jump for these shotgun shells. Claim the secret, claim the shells. And now to get back safely, what you need to do is. Um, fall off this thing backwards, okay? You'll land right here, we'll get a little little bit of fall damage, but it's not much. Um, let's slide down this slope right here. And we are back safely, this should look familiar. I'm now on the other side of this spike pit that I traversed earlier. Okay, now let's move these blocks. Okay, we need to move these, uh, just need to move this one out once, and we're gonna hop over and push the other one twice. And that will give us access to the room. <coughs> One more push should do it. <coughs> and then here we are. Let's, uh, let's turn to the right. Um, there's really nothing in this whole passageway. You may notice that there is a uh, opening here. And you can go through that if you want. Um, I'm going to buy a pet. Well, <clears throat> that's a return path is what it is. Okay, now in this room, you'll notice that there's a gold key up here. You can go ahead and grab this thing if you're quick, because it does spawn a panther when you come over here. And we'll uh, take care of him in a little bit. You know, we could do some work on this panther while we're here. Might as well see if we can get some shots on this guy, too, while we're on this uh, platform right next to him. 
All right, whatever. Well, I fell in the water, and I'm gonna come over here to uh, this side over here. There is some magnum ammo. Now, this is directly across from where I entered. I'm actually gonna get back out of the water over in that section. All right, I entered right here. And you saw the two uh, crocodiles in the water? Well, we gotta take care of them too, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of enemies. In case you haven't noticed. And there's gonna be even more before we end the level. Some more gators and some more panthers, come on. They're pretty good at being elusive right now. Which is a shame. Oh, I almost got these other... I got these to unlock. Where are you going? There we go. Okay, one more. And then we'll finally have all these kills done. Where you at, buddy? He's over here. Alright, finally, they're all dead. Now, there's a couple of things you can do in this room. Um, as you noticed, I did pick up that gold key, and then I killed everything. I uh, picked up some magnum ammo that was in the water. I'm gonna go ahead and climb onto this bridge right here and go into this room that this panther was prowling around because there is a small med pack over here to the right as you enter. So let's grab that and then let's leave. This time we want to go ahead and traverse the bridge just a little bit. We don't want to go too far. You may notice an opening in the water down over here. I'm probably gonna miss the water. Yeah, that was graceful, Matt. Uh, there's an opening over here to on this side, and we want to swim through here, okay? Just keep going all the way to the end. This is going to give us access to our magnums, all right? We already got the shotgun, now we're going to claim the magnums, so that's pretty cool. Uh, pull up over here on this side, or it doesn't matter which side you pull up. Spawn some gators, we need to uh, take care of these guys as fast as possible. Um, if you uh, are kind of afraid, you can hop up here. And you can avoid the damage that way. Alright. Kill two of the crocodiles, but as you pick up some of these items, you're going to spawn a couple more. So make sure you waste them, too. Um, there's also a small med pack over there that we need to grab. Oh, well, I guess I was wrong. This is probably going to be the only thing that spawns a uh, crocodile. There he is. Alright, so there's uh, a total of four crocodiles that you need to kill up here. And then there's also one that spawned in the water. We're going to have to kill him as well, so uh, let's see if I can't find him. I'm not sure exactly where he is, but I know that he is in existence. He might, there he is. Just swimming through gates, you know, because that's his superpower. That's his thing, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm going to bait him out over here, and then I'll kill him from here. And that's fine, because this is kind of where I want to be anyway. Where's he at? Where's he at? He didn't follow me. That was probably the smartest thing he could possibly do. Well, let's bait him out some more. He's probably going to come from some random direction. I'll be like, ah, look, he's not even coming. Oh, there he is. Sweet. Alright, pull out, and... There we go. This guy is pretty good at trying to hide from me. Alright, there we go. So we finally have all those kills taken care of. Um, let's head back over to this bridge, okay? Um, we got the magnums and all that stuff. So that's all pretty cool. Uh, we want to climb this bridge now all the way to the top. And then when you get to the top, you can turn to the right. Or, yep. And vault yourself up to here. Now, you don't want to go in there um, just yet. If you do, there, you will spawn an alligator and you have to kill it. We do need to go that way eventually. That's the proper way to go. But clearly, you always want to go the wrong way first because you'll get items, you'll get kills. And that's what we're going to do. We want to continue to go up this thing counterclockwise until you find a large med pack. And then you can go ahead and go back down. Whichever way, it doesn't matter. But I do want to go through this opening that you may have noticed, okay? And this is only for a kill. I'm gonna go ahead and save my game. Might as well. This is only for a kill. You don't have to go down in here. Um, there actually it's for two kills. Uh, this is just a, this is the alligator trap, so uh, be careful. 
Um, they kind of suck because and when you fall in, you get, you get stuck. That's just how it is, I guess. Just go in here and lay waste to all these guys. And uh, I lost quite a bit of life doing this, so... Um, yeah, all that just to show you what's up with this, so... Uh, good luck on the rest of my no med pack run, right? Okay, so now that we have that thing, we're right back into the same room that we were in. Oh, what fun. I didn't want to fall in the water. I was trying to jump. I want to get on this bridge is what I want to do. Because I want to go all the way back up to it. Remember, there is that one passageway that I said we need to go that happened to be the right way. We do want to go that way this time. Okay. So turn to the right up here. You're going to have to... It looks like you have to jump and grab in the air to pull yourself up into here. Okay, get this alligator spawned. Take him out, and then uh, we want to fall off backwards here and grab the ledge. Now we're above that area that we were just in, and we want to shimmy all the way to the right. Now we got to shimmy pretty dang far, and you got to go all the way to the end of it. Otherwise, um, you can't pull yourself up. So... That's what we need to do right now, people. It's gonna take a little while, but luckily down below, you know, there's some water in case, you know, you get tired of holding the action button and fall off down there safely. See the shotgun shells there? We're gonna get those here in a second. Here we go, finally. We're at the last tile. Pull ourselves up, claim some shotgun shells. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to hop over to this cat statue. Fortunately, we uh, were able to come this direction. Um, we now have the gold key that we need for this door. Not that we've seen the door before, but uh, we do have the key for it, is what I'm trying to tell you. And it was on top of the pedestal um, in that little island in this water down below here. Okay, so if you don't know where that key's at, that's how you get the key. Alright, so let's go into this section. You'll see uh, that there's some boulders coming at you. Easily avoid them by running a little bit to the left. And then there's some more boulder traps that are that's going to go on here. Uh, the best thing to do, in my opinion, is to go ahead and activate them all. So I'm going to run up the center one here, and I'm going to activate uh, one of the boulders. And then I'm going to side jump to the left and activate another boulder. And then come back over here and then uh, activate the last set of boulders. And then you can jump over here to avoid any more damage. And um, that's the only thing I wanted to do. I just wanted to spawn all the boulders, get them out of the way. I don't have to worry about them, otherwise I'll probably forget about them, and then they'd kill me later, and it'd be hilarious. Um, anyway, let's go back down the ramp, and we're gonna head over here to the right side, as if you're facing the ramp. Okay. Um, what you want to do from here is you want to kind of fall off and pick up the shotgun shells that are in this gate. Now you see some panthers running around. You're able to shoot these guys through the gate, and they can't do anything about it, so... Uh, take advantage of that if you can. Um, they may or may not be back. I just did. I just really wanted to do some damage while I was down here, and it seems like I have accomplished that. So let's climb out of here. Now there's a couple ways you can get down there. It really doesn't matter, you know, which way you choose. I'm just going to go ahead and go up here and fall off this thing this way. Like I said, it really doesn't matter, oh, you know, which way you choose. Make sure you get down here. And uh, hopefully I don't take any damage here, because I'm almost one hit away from these guys. Oh god. There it is. Alright guys, I haven't saved the entire time, so I'll see you guys back at this spot. Alright guys, I'm back. I just I got done activating all these boulder traps, and I went and picked up the shotgun shells also already, so... I'm actually gonna go down on this side. Because there's already a ledge that I can stand on to take care of these guys. I was trying to hit the other ledge on the way down uh, before. Didn't seem to work out that way. This is definitely the best way to take care of these guys. You can get it to work. You can easily use it to bait them too. So, you know, bait them and then hop up here real quick. So there's all those possibilities. Um, of course, they like to run away pretty fast. Let's uh, run and jump over to this block. Bait them out and then waste them. Where's the other one? There he is. Come out. There we go. Alright, so they're finally all taken care of, but that's not all. There's another one that's going to spawn right there. So let's take him out as well. Where'd he go? Um, yeah, so on my return, I guess I'll go ahead and talk about that. I uh, 
did go back through the um oh I I did save by the way I did had I saved just before I went to the uh, into the alligator pit which uh I feel fortunate for of course um they were just as bad as they were before they took away just as much life pretty much but that's uh he neither here nor there because I seem to have taken care of these panthers just fine but I do have only a sliver of life left for the rest of the level so it should be pretty interesting a couple of uh, small med packs here um same side that I dropped down on this time. Uh, grab those things and then um, you can head over to this direction. There's a ramp right here that we need to climb. Okay. And um, I didn't even know this view existed. But that's pretty cool. You stand on there, you get a cool ass view. Let's go up in here. We'll find a small med pack. And we'll also find a switch that's going to open the two doors at the end of the boulder traps. So now we're going to head back that direction and uh, well actually we're not going to go up there just yet. There's a couple more items that we need to get. Now this, uh, the opposite side is the uh, sort of a mirror image but except there's no items over there on the other side. You kind of want to just go up in this ramp. Be careful the panther here. Okay. He kind of comes out of nowhere as you can see. Um, but you can easily bait him like this. Okay, so he's taken care of. The one direct, the way that we want to go is we want to go up in here and head through this little dark passageway. We'll find at the very end of it some shotgun shells and some magnum clips. So um, that's good. Now, if you did a little bit of exploring, you may have noticed these uh, pickups before, but they were on the other side of a gate that is now open. Okay, so this gate's now open. Anyway, let's go up this ramp. This time we want to head to the right instead of going straight, and we're going to find another small med pack. That's all we really wanted was the items, so... We have everything that we need in this area. Now we can go up the ramp and through those doors. And by the way, there is another panther that spawned up there near the uh, near those doors, so... Okay, so in order to get up to the top, what I'm going to do is go back to the other side where I came down and just use this block right here. So hop up to the ledge above. And then ascend the ramp. We should find that panther here, walking around. Somewhere. We can hear him. There he is. Now he's on the other side. Alright, well, whatever. Alright, so take care of him, and now we be careful here. I'm actually going to save my game just in case something crazy happens. We need to hop these bridges, alright? Be careful because there's a bunch of spikes down below, but at the very end of the uh, of the bridges over on this side, we'll find some pickups. We'll find some two uh, things of shotgun shells for us. So let's grab those things. Because that's fun. And now let's hop over into this area we'll find a couple more pickups we find some uh, small med packs and now there's another small med pack in a uh, cubby that's on the same side over here we want to just kind of crisscross over to this section to find the uh, small med pack So grab that thing, and then what we want to do is we want to fall off down below here. There's some water down here that we want to go into. Oh, and there's two crocodiles. That's always cool. Uh, what we want to do is we want to find this opening. You want to swim, uh, hopefully, as fast as you can when you only have, like, a sliver of life. Uh, because what we're going to find is some shotgun shells. I'm going to bypass those for now because I'm going to kill these crocodiles before I go get them. Uh, there's a lever here that you want to pull really fast because those crocodiles are hot on your tail. Uh, get, it, get that out of the way, and then, oh, I got some damage. That's fine. I think I still got this. I think I still got this. Uh, pull yourself out. You find this little special tile here sticking out. You want to stand on that so we can uh, be as far away from this panther as possible. And lay waste to him from here. If he gets too close. I actually didn't want to jump in the water. I just wanted to jump over to the other side. So I wasn't lined up properly. But that's fine. Uh, take care of that panther and then take care of these uh, gators. 
they're being the pain right now, though. Climb out, climb out. There we go. Turn, shoot. Get as much damage in on these guys as I possibly can. One more kill. Down in this water, and then I can go get those shotgun shells. Don't forget that we bypass those, so that way we can, um, you know, not die. Kind of important. Where is he? There he is. Okay, so there's that, and then there is the shotgun shell issue that we need to resolve. And here it is. Resolved. Okay, so, um, that's not all. There's still a bunch of enemies and a bunch of items that we need to pick up, so, uh, we want to head all over here where we fought that panther, and we'll find a, a little area over here where it's, it's a boulder trap, so be careful, but uh, luckily, uh, the boulders don't go in the important spots. A uh, bunch of pickups here, though, some shotgun shells and, um, a small med pack. So now that we have that, let's head over here to this other gated area. Cat a corner to it. Uh, get your pistols out because you need to find a panther. He's going to be running around here. Use your shotgun, whatever you want to do. Pistols seem to work fine if you uh, run, a run around in a circle. You kind of want to play cat and mouse with these panthers, you know what I'm saying? Except you want to be the cat. Catch my drift. So let's pick up the uh, shotgun shells, which is the whole reason why we came over here to begin with. Alright. And, um, yeah, this is a, a pretty cool scenery, too. Uh, if we look up, you see the night sky, and you see the twinkles of the, of the stars. Kind of in a repeating pattern, we can tell that they uh, use the texture for it, but still pretty interesting. And I kind of like how, uh, oh, there's a, uh, I don't like that, how there's a panther here. Let's uh, kite him over here. Climb up onto here. That way we don't have to run around. Where is he at? Where is he at? Point your guns. There we go. Wow, he just runs right through the fence, huh? Alright, well, let's bait him back. Okay, and, uh, yeah, I kind of I kind of like how there's, like, this huge area out there that's gated off and you can't explore it. Um, that may or may not be the case in this level, though, which is really cool, I think. I think it's really cool that they... Actually did open that up, but only if you know what to do. Okay, I'm at to fight a couple of Atlanteans, so I'm gonna pull out my shotgun and I'm gonna save my game because this could get hairy. But there's actually a really nice uh, way to take care of these guys if you know exactly where to stand. It's on that that tile where the slope just ends. Okay, those two cat statues are gonna turn into Atlanteans at that spot, and then you can just stand there. For some reason, if you're uh, you're the perfect distance where they don't go crazy, and uh, you just stand here and unload the shotgun on them without them. Bouncing around on you. Okay, so now we got those guys taken care of. Let's go down in here. There's a pool down here um, that's good for a kill and a small med pack. So let's pull out our pistols and finish off the gator that's in the water that's guarding the small med pack that's down here. Alright, and now that we have that. Uh, we're pretty close to done here, just not quite. Alright, we're actually at the exit. This is the exit to the, of the level, but, like I said, there's that whole open area that we can explore, and I'll show you how to do that here. If you run straight toward this Atlantean, uh, he falls, for some reason, he kind of disappears. He actually falls down, and, um, but that's the end of the level, too, by the way. Just it, There's a couple of uh, planes of, uh, that you don't want to break in order to prevent yourself from uh, ending the level. This is the tile that you can run and jump to. And then there's another panther up here. Oh gosh, is this going to be the enemy? Oh, it is going to be the enemy. Because, the reason why that was the enemy is because there's some sand back here that you can't, there's some tiles back here you can't stand on. And they're just instant death. Doesn't matter how much life you have and doesn't matter how long you're standing on it, you're just going to fall over. So, uh, let me go ahead and see you guys back at that spot. Alright guys, I'm about to make that jump back over to the secret spot special place, and, um, yeah, like I was saying, there's some, uh, spots you cannot stand. Um, basically that, that entire area where the panther is standing now is off limits, so don't go over in that direction. 
Now you can explore over there, and I'll show you how you can do that. Um, you can actually stand on some of the sand over here, and then you can go along the building over there, and you can explore a little bit over that direction. But there's nothing over there, so don't do that. And be careful of the, uh, the breaking planes here. If you break a few planes, then um, you end the level. And the, the tile directly ahead of me will end your level. This like entire rectangle area where the two cats are, uh, the you know where the Atlantean is, all those will end the level. So don't break those planes. But you want to run off here, over here, by these palm trees. Okay, and uh, we're going to come over on this side. Be careful because there are still are some uh, tiles that are instant death. Um, we're going to find this pool over here, and inside of the pool we'll find our Uzis. Yes, our Uzis, and a couple of uh, clips, so that's all the weapons, people. We have all of the weapons for Tomb Raider 1. The pistols, the shotgun, the magnums, and the Uzis. So that's excellent. And this is only the first level in the expansion. Okay, so in order to get out of here, what I'm going to do is pull myself out on this side, take out my shotgun, because there's going to be an Atlantean crazy nuts guy that spawned. And uh, hopefully his shrapnel doesn't do any damage to me. It doesn't look like it did, so that's good. Uh, one more guy. Save the game here. I mean, I'm so close to the end, I don't want to lose all this progress. Alright, take care of him, and um, yeah, we're still in this open area. And you can explore if you want. There's a, it's pretty cool looking. Uh, the sky ends. It's like a, a wall over there. This is kind of interesting down here too. Like, why is this here? <laughs> it serves no purpose. But anyway, I do like the uh, idea of being out here. Pretty cool. Okay, but anyway, to get back and to end the level for once, finally, uh, I'm just gonna run and jump over the gate from this section to find our way back. To a very familiar area, and uh, this is where we fought the, the two Atlanteans that were cat statues turned into Atlanteans. That was nuts. Went crazy all over the place. And now I'm finally going to approach this Atlantean and end the level. Get some stats. Alright guys, there are my stats. 41 kills, 53 seek. Uh, 53 pickups, 3 of 3 secrets. Took me about half an hour. Uh, no med packs, all items, um, all kills. So, uh, there you guys have it. I'm Badass Games. Thanks for watching my video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.